So now you've purchased all of your components for your new PC, you assembled it, and now you need to put Windows on it. And how do you do that? Well, whether it be Windows 10 or Windows 11, you're gonna need to start off with a nice thumb drive. It's better if it's the faster, the better. And, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to download and put on here the Windows Media Creation Tool. This is gonna allow you to uh, start installing Windows and there's a step-by-step -step on how to install Windows, but I'm gonna show you how to get it on the thumb drive for this video, so don't go anywhere. Well, as I mentioned, you're gonna need a thumb drive and the faster, the better. And the faster, the better is because when you're installing Windows, the files can be read a lot quicker and get it installed on your drive that much faster. Now, if you're dealing with a mechanical hard drive, putting Windows on that, it's not gonna go that much faster. But if you have some M.2s in your computer, uh, either SATA or NVMe, it's gonna go a lot faster if you have one of these guys. Now. This is by Samsung. This is the Extreme Pro. You can get these. I don't know if they sell them in 64 gigabyte anymore, but you can get them in 128, 256, and so on. And these have a read write speed of about, it's over 400. I think they're 480 for the read, and the writes might be a little bit slower. But I have one for Windows 10 and one for Windows 11. And it's time for me to update my Windows 11. I thought I would show you just to keep this updated, right? If I have to install Windows 11, you want to install it with the as late of a build as possible. So you know how you get updates, uh, you know, once or twice a year, major updates. Those are the build versions. And when the build versions come out, these should be updated. So that way you don't have to go through so many updates when you do get Windows installed and now it has to update again. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how to get this and you do need an internet connection. So you would have to get this from a spare computer or you have to borrow somebody's computer and download and make this. This is a bootable drive. So when you install this, and you boot up your computer for the first time, this is the only thing it's gonna see, so you're gonna be able to install Windows. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this right in there like so, and now I'm gonna get you a shot of the monitor so I can show you where to go and get this and how to do this. All right, so before we get started here, I just wanna mention something. If you buy a new drive, you're perfectly fine. If you are using a drive that you currently have and it has anything on it, whatever's on it, will get deleted. So just make sure that you don't have anything on it or you transfer everything off of it to something else. So uh, what we're gonna search for here, and I already did a search for it, but it's Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. You can type that in verbatim. Usually once you start typing the media part, um, you're gonna see it as um, kind of a, you're gonna start typing it, right? And then you're gonna see this one here. And usually it's your first uh, site that you will see, but you can see this is Microsoft.com software download. Um, this is another one, support.com. You can get to it from here too, but this one is the one that we want. This is Windows, this is download for Windows 11, and this is Windows 11 2022 20, update version 22H2. So it is the latest version. This is, uh, you can read this before you begin, yakety yak, um, don't need to know anything about that. Uh, that's actual, that's installation assistance, so we do not need that, sorry about that. It's actually this one, the creation, or create Windows 11 installation media. So this you can actually read, I thought it was the first one, but it's not. So you can take your time and read all this if you choose. Um, but if not, this is the one we want. So this is going to be, let me just, uh, this is to use, uh, for windows, uh, on a bootable USB or disc. 
So this is the one that we want. So I want to download this. And right down here, you can see if you're using Google Chrome, always in the bottom left hand side is going to be where your downloads are. If you're using Microsoft Edge, it's going to be in the top right. So we have that downloaded. We can go to our files. Uh, let's see, we already plugged in our drive. Our drive is right here. It's USB uh, F, the letter F. And we need to go to our downloads because that's where it downloaded to. So you need to go to your download section. And we have right here the media creation tool. And we're just going to launch this. It's an executable file. And this is going to be searching uh, here shortly. You have to accept this. There's no way around this. But it's going to be looking for a drive, a suitable drive that this can put on. We want the letter F. Uh, use the recommended options for this PC. Nope, I just want I just want it for basic Windows 11. I don't care about my PC in particular. We want English, Windows 11. Don't worry if you have the Home Edition or Pro. That doesn't matter because that's not part of this. That's part of your installation of the Windows. We want it going to a USB flash drive. And yes, look at it is the only one that it sees fit for this operation. So that's perfect. We didn't even have to select it. Um, or maybe I had to highlight it there, but that's about it. Uh, let's see. I haven't done this in a while. I can't remember. Okay, so it's actually doing it right now. And it says, feel free to keep using the PC if we want, but there is no point. So I'm going to fast forward through this, and uh, we're going to get to the next step. All right, so we just finished there. Um, again, if you do have a faster flash drive, the faster it is, the faster that would happen. Um, if you have a slower one, it's going to take a lot longer. Now that took, for those two processes, it probably took about two, two and a half minutes max as I was just standing here twiddling my thumbs. And that's it. So now if we go to our PC again, this is going to be the latest you can see all right you can see the date that i'm doing it so depending on when this comes out it might be a few weeks after this um but you can see that i just did this this month today so this is all new and it is ready for windows or for you to use that to install windows all right it is that simple now this guy right here is ready for installation of Windows. So when you build your new computer, you would stick this in to any of the available ports. You can use these up on top if you have some that are 3.0 or higher, but stick it into a port normally in the back, something that's connected, directly connected to the motherboard, and that's gonna be your best success at it. Now, if you do start up your computer, and nothing happens or it says select bootable device or something like that, go ahead and try this in a different port and uh, you should have success there. Um, if not, you know, that, that's generally how it is. I haven't run into too many circumstances where that doesn't work if you just switch to a different port, but make sure it is not a 2.0 port. If it's black on the inside, then that, usually indicates it's 2.0. If it's blue or I know they make red um, and there's a couple other colors, those are the faster ports sticking into one of those and you'll be fine. Now this is for Windows 10. You do the same thing for Windows, or excuse me, that's Windows 11. You do the same thing for Windows 10. You just type in Windows 10 media creation tool instead of Windows 11 and you go through the exact same steps. Nothing is different. So. I hope this you find, I hope it's you find, I hope you found this helpful 
and uh, maybe not so much entertaining, but hopefully a little bit helpful in building your new PC and getting yourself started in Windows. Now, a, another quick tip. Um, once Windows is fully installed, I, and there's a part where you don't have to have this in anymore, but just for you guys to be safe, especially if you're doing it for the first time, just leave it in until you see the desktop and you're navigating like a regular computer. Remove this at any point in time. You don't even have to shut down the computer again. Just remove it. So uh, that's another tip I kind of you know, forgot about. But I will probably do another installation uh, video of Windows 11. I think I only have one out there. And it was, I believe, for the She-Hulk installation. Uh, but I don't even know if I... I don't even know if I have a Windows 11, so I'll have to check on that. If I don't, I'll probably make one. Anyway, enough with the talking. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up to show your support, and consider subscribing if you have not subscribed yet, and hit that little bell icon next to the subscription button just to get notified for any future videos that I do post. And I like I always say, until next time, take care.